Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Man, wow, what a time for the jailbreak community. We have our first official jailbreak out of the bunch and this is the Cilio. This is actually the uh, Chimera jailbreak and installing Cydia or Cilio onto your device. I'm gonna have to get used to that. It's just, it's been uh, just an amazing experience. I'm just glad that it's finally here. But as you can see here, Anemone, currently works on my device. I've actually made my device icons a little bit different and I'm just kind of doing some testing around with other different applications. But first, before we get into our tutorial, I'm gonna start deleting some of these applications. I'll save Tweakbox and we're gonna get rid of some applications that we don't need that we're gonna actually pull from Cilio and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And just know that when you pull these applications or when you get your emulators from Cilio, you don't have to worry about any sort of revokes. This is an application that will allow you to keep those applications like GBA for iOS, INDS for iOS on your device for free, no worries about revokes. So what I want you guys to do is when you open up Celio, if you have your devices jailbroken, make sure that you enter in the repo that I've done so and I've shown you guys on the screen already. I'll leave the repo in the description down below. That particular repo contains all the coveted em emulators and Kodo movies. So just make sure that you enter that source in and then make sure that you also download the applications uh, to that of your pleasure that you would like. So GBA for iOS, I'm gonna download a couple at the moment. And what, like I said before, as you download these applications, these are apps that will stay on your device forever as long as you keep this guy jailbroken or that you keep this, yeah, as long as you keep the device jailbroken. If you need to reboot your device for whatever reason, make sure that you do launch up uh, the Chimera jailbreak and then it will go ahead and reinitiate the jailbreak for you. This is a tethered jailbreak. And again, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that I am currently running this on an iPhone XR and this is at tw on iOS 12.1 and this is running perfectly. I don't know, there's been people that have been having issues with their devices and with Cilio. I have not had any sort of issues or problems with this with this software or with this application. It's been running actually really great. And as you can see here, we've loaded up all of our applications and just with just how the application even looks, it just it it just breathes Cydia. It it reminds me so much of it. Just a more refresher, more cleaner version of Cydia. I personally like it. I don't have any issues or problems with, you know, with this particular jailbreak and with Cil Cilio. So, I honestly like it. And then the fact that these applications run and there, there's no worries about revokes, and I can actually finally save my process to, every, to, all, to all of my save data games. I can save, man, I can go through all my games without having to worry about losing my save data. That's the, that's the best part of it all. Now, there is currently one application that's not working right now at the moment. That's the PPSSPP emulator. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like to go ahead and remove that from your device. So as you can see here, you can modify from your packages and you can uninstall with ease, it's super easy to get rid of applications or get rid of tweaks. But what I would recommend to you guys, if you guys are if you guys are still watching this at the moment, is to make sure that you ease into this jailbreak. Don't start downloading a lot of the different tweaks. Definitely take a take a look into other YouTubers that have uh, done City of Tweak videos, or even myself. I'll be posting more videos about City of Tweaks later on. Man, just make sure that you take things very slow and enjoy the actual fact that you're able to have your emulators and your Kodo movies without having to worry about any sort of revokes and just kind of ease into the tweaks. And those tweaks will be updated for later versions. So for the XS Max, the XS, and the or the 10R, these applications will be uploaded and updated uh, frequently. So make sure that you stay tuned for those. But if you guys did like this tutorial, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share this one around, and I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Peace. Let me get extra, extra.